Hello everyone. In this video, today we are going to discuss about email and structure of email. Okay. So first of all, we'll be starting with the topic email. What is email? Email stands for electronic mail, which is used to send letter electronically from one place to another place. Okay. What is email? Email is a process of sending letter electronically from one place to another place. Right. So as you know, by using email, we can send our letter in very short time and on accurate place. Understanding? So if we see the history of email, so email was developed by Ray Tomlinson. Email was developed by Ray Tomlinson in the year 1972. When was email developed? Email was developed in the year 1972 by Ray Tomlinson. Okay. Now, next one will be looking here the structure of email. Structure means the how the email is made. What are the steps? What are the structure we which we need to follow before sending the email? Okay. So first of all, the structure of email starts from from section. So what is from section? From section contains the sender email ID. Sender means who is going to send the letter. That person email ID will be written in the from section. Okay. Second comes to. To contains the receiver email ID. Receiver's email ID will be contained in the to section. Means to whom you are going to forward the letter. That person email ID will be contained in the to section. Okay. Next point comes CC and BCC. See, these two points are very important in email CC and BCC. So listen very carefully and try to understand what is the meaning of CC and BCC in email. CC stands for carbon copy, which is a, which is used to send same letter to the multiple people by letting know to the third person or fourth person. That means the, uh, the person whose email ID I will be writing in the CC section, that person will be knowing the same letter has been shared among how many people. Understanding? That is what CC, carbon copy. Next point comes BCC, which stands for blind carbon copy. It means the process of sending the same letter to the multiple people by without letting know to the third person or fourth person you can say without letting know to the third person or fourth person that means what you can say the person to whose email id you are going to write in the section of bcc that person will be hided the email or the id of that person will not be shown to other people clear then after subject section comes subject is used to contain the title of email the short title of email is used to contain by the subject section then after body section comes body section is a big area which is used to contain entire email messages okay that is what body then after next point comes attachment with the help of email I am going to forward in one email, but with the help of email, I want to attach one more file, one more document. It may be picture, it may be, you know, uh, document, it may be different kind of audios and videos. Whatever you want to attach with your email, that will be attached with the help of attachment option. So what you can say, so attachment option allows us to attach the different files, audio, video and different kind of you know, uh, pictures we can attach with, uh, with our email. Then after next comes message ID. Message ID is used to contain the signature of the sender or you can say it is used to contain the unique identification at the last of the mail. And at last, there is a send option which is used to send the letter finally to the send destination or finally to the receiver. So these are the structure of email which we need to know and we need to understand what are the use of this structure. So whenever you forward the mail, make sure these all structures.
structure you should be knowing or you should be using it if there is a requirement of anything like that as i have explained you so you need to use these all kind of things so that you can forward your letter in proper way and in good way okay i hope you have understood this point thank you and have a nice day